Hey everybody, uh, this is Ryan Chapman, the creator of 9010 Nutrition, and I'm here again with Lisa Madsen, who is a coach of 9010 Nutrition Group. So Lisa, what are we here for this time? So today we're gonna talk to you about how we plan. Planning is a huge part of 9010 Nutrition. And so in the resource section of the 9010 Nutrition, um, dot com website we have grocery lists we also have weekly meal planner guides and we're going to talk to you about how we use those resources to plan out our weekly menus so when you're planning your meals one of the things that you're going to need is sources for your recipes right I mean you, you need some recipes or some idea of what you're going to eat for your meals and so I'm going to show you a few of my favorite recipe sources so the first one I have is Martha Stewart's everyday food this, this one is called Great Food Fast, but this series, this Everyday Food series, has like three or four different ones. In fact, I've got uh, Everyday Food Light, right? So I've got another one here. Um, and then there's also uh, Fresh Flavor Fast. So the, and, and this is not even close to all of the ones that are in the Everyday Food section. The thing I like about these particularly is that they have fresh ingredients. So not everything is 100% you know, on the green tier, but they're all fresh ingredients. There's no processed food really usually in these uh, recipes. So it's a great place to start. Um, you can see that these are actually even kind of dirty and used and they have bookmarks in them because I use these a lot. Now what are some of the other resources that we have for uh, recipes? Well I use a lot of online. I use allrecipes.com, I use a Pinterest page, I have a Pinterest page, Ryan has a Pinterest page, we have a 9010 Nutrition Pinterest page so that we can, uh, if you, you're more of an online person like I am, then that's a really good resource for you to be able to use. And everything's really easily modified too when you have these uh, recipe sources. A lot of times you'll just have to make little modifications like you know adding whole wheat pasta instead of white pasta or... Exactly, you know. exactly. So it really doesn't matter a whole lot what your recipe <clears throat> sources are as long as the ingredients in the recipes are either already 90-10 approved, you know, they, they meet the list, or they're easy to modify. So it, what we really want to do right now is just pick a couple of our favorite recipes to show you um, out of, I will actually use this book here, and I'll pick a couple of recipes out of here to show you some of my favorites and how I've had to modify them just slightly to meet our 90-10 nutrition principles. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, um, just add a couple of things to our weekly meal planner here and our grocery list. So what I've got here in front of me is the weekly meal planner that you can find on the resources section of 9010nutrition.com. You can use any sheet of paper you like, but we've got a weekly meal planner for you that can kind of help you if you'd like. And then I've got the grocery list from the resources section of 9010nutrition.com as well. And so I'm just gonna pick a couple of recipes out of my favorite cookbook and I'm gonna show you how I modify things in the recipe, put it here on the weekly meal planner and kind of show you, you know, what I do to put that on the grocery list and then um, we'll just go through a couple of them. So the first one that I want to show you is actually a fish taco recipe from my favorite Martha Stewart cookbook. And this fish taco recipe is amazing. I've never had anyone try this fish taco recipe that hasn't loved it. So what I'm gonna do is just go through the ingredients of, of this fish taco recipe and I'm gonna check them against the green, yellow, and red tiers and see where they fall. So we've got sour cream, which is green. We've got lime juice, salt and pepper, cabbage, scallions, jalapenos, olive oil, tilapia, so fish, tilapia fish fillets, um, and then we've got flour tortillas and we have cilantro leaves. So if you check on the green and yellow and red tiers, you'll see that everything is on the green tier except for one thing, and that's the eight flour tortillas. So you have a choice there. You can either substitute those flour tortillas, white flour tortillas, for 100% whole wheat flour tortillas, which are on the green tier, or you can use that as your 10% for the day if it falls within that, if you don't have already something else from the yellow tier that you're using for your 10%, okay? So you just go through the ingredients of the recipe, find what's on the green and what's on the yellow, and then replace things that are on the yellow or use those as your 10%. Okay, so once I've picked this recipe, I've looked through it and made sure that I can either modify it or it's already within the, the boundaries of the 90-10 tiers, then I'm just gonna add it on my weekly meal planner here where I wanna have it. So I'm gonna say fish tacos right here. 
on Monday night's dinner, and I'm gonna say I got the recipe from, uh, you can just describe the source, everyday food, and it is on page 150 in that recipe book. So this just gives you um, something to show where you got that recipe from. So I'm gonna plan out my entire week, all the dinners at least, on this sheet from recipe sources, or you can make up your own recipes if you just wanna have like chicken and vegetables and rice or something like that. Um, you don't have to go from an actual recipe if you just wanna cook a few things from the green tier and put them together. All right, so I'm gonna go through that and then I'm gonna go back through the ingredients and add the ingredients that I don't have onto the grocery list that I have here from the resource section of 9010nutrition.com. So the, the grocery list is broken up into the different sections that you'll find in the grocery store, produce, dairy and eggs, bakery items, meat, canned foods, and so on. So you can just add those ingredients to your grocery list for each of the meals that you pick out of your recipe books. I'll pick one more recipe here. It's from the same book. Um, I've used this book so many times, but there's still stuff in here that um, I either go back to or I find new recipes in here that I like. So this one is tomato and olive penny. So it's just a pasta dish. Um, if we go through the ingredients on this one, it's pretty simple. We have uh, salt and pepper, um, penny or other pasta. So usually when they refer to pasta, they're ref usually referring to just regular old pasta. So that's a yellow item. You can either use it as your 10% again, or you can uh, go for 100% whole wheat pasta, which would be on the green tier, and then it won't be part of your 10%. So there's a quick substitution you can do. We've got olive oil, garlic, cherry tomatoes, oregano, red pepper flakes, kalamata olives, parsley, and Parmesan cheese. So you just go through those items and there's only one that we have to do any replacement with if you want to for that pasta, right? And then we're just gonna add that. It is page 244 of this cookbook. So I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna have that on Friday night. So I'm gonna put this uh, tomato penny on my uh, weekly meal planner here. And I'm gonna say this is from everyday food maybe you have some shorthand for that if you use that page 244 and now i know where to go look for that recipe when it comes around to friday night and it's time to go cook i'm going to go back through the ingredients lists again add that to my grocery list so that i have a full grocery list from everything so that's how we do it that's how we plan our weekly meals i hope that that has been helpful i hope that gives you some ideas about how you can plan better and how you can really make your planning um, turn into making you a successful challenger. Yeah, so now if you have any questions about how to make your weekly meal plan, um, how to modify a recipe or anything, that's one of the great things about the group. You can post in there and say, hey, I found this recipe. Can you guys help me make sure that this meets the 90-10 or what should I modify? I know this thing is on the yellow. Do you guys know anything that I could replace it with? Anything like that. Really use the group for that. But hopefully this video gave you an idea of a basic plan of how to make that weekly meal plan and make it work for you.